hello guys welcome back and uh, in today's video I'll show you how you can create a clone of virtual machine running in Hyper-V so let's get started I am on the Hyper-V manager which is uh, 2012 R2 so the machine that we'll be using for making the clone is N1 so it is in the off state so it's very simple to do so let's uh, right click and uh, select export and in the location I'll browse it and uh, I will save this machine in the folder name demo and you export it so as you can see that uh, the process for exporting under the status has been started and uh, uh, this process will take some time so let me do this way let me just pause the video and after the process is uh, completed I will restart so we are almost at the end of exporting our virtual machine so it is at 95% right now and uh, we'll wait for it to get completed so the export process is successful so if I go on to my desktop and I saved it in the demo folder so let me open it and uh, this is the virtual machine that we have it export it so the first step has been completed so let me come out of this one and go back to my hyper-v manager so the next thing you want to do after you export the virtual machine is that you need to import it so you can highlight and on the right hand screen you can see that there is an option for import virtual machine and uh, yeah there is no option when I right click so I have to go over here so let me highlight this and import virtual machine and in the wizard we'll select next and then we'll browse to the folder containing the virtual machine that we have so it is in the folder named demo so let me go to this one and uh, this is a virtual machine select it and uh, select next and what we'll do is that we'll select the copy the virtual machine and create a unique ID and you select next again and here you can store the virtual machine so what I'll do is that uh, I'll store the virtual machine on my desktop so I have a folder with the name clone VM so clone location this is the place I'll select my virtual machine select next and uh, in the storage folder let me select the same place and you get a brief summary of uh, where you have given the selection for the storage and you hit finish and as you can see that uh, copying the file has been started so again this will take some time so let me just pause the video and I'll be back after the process is completed okay so the import of the virtual machine is uh, completed so if I go on to the location where we stored so as you can see that uh, N1 has appeared and if I open my Hyper-V manager I should be having uh, as you can see that uh, the N1 also has a PSO3 2 N1 before that there was only one N1 so if I right click and go under the settings this you can see under the virtual hard disk is the clone location the one that we selected for the storage so let me just quickly right click and uh, power it on So this machine is exact replica of the virtual machine that we had before so it's very convenient you can just export it and then you can import and you get a complete replica or a clone of your virtual machine so if I connect and then after the machine is fully powered on you can uh, play around with this one and uh, you can make whatever changes you want to make so I, I hope you found this video useful thanks for watching have a good day